Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of division with two-digit divisors. This is standard 5.3c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 5 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Nicholas, and he's got a whole lot of baseball cards, 1,012. It's going to put them into boxes. 22 cards go into each box. So we've got equal groups here letting me know that we are going to be dealing with multiplication or division. How many boxes does he need for the baseball cards? Well, even if I didn't know which operation to use, take a look at my four answer choices. They are all very small, which means it's probably going to be division. But let's just draw a... Strip diagram to make sure, so my total is always up on top. I've got 1,012 baseball cards. What I want to do is I want to put them into boxes of 22. The question is, is how many 22s does it take to get up to 1,012? I don't know my 22 facts, so that's the question. And so this is going to be a simple division problem. Uh, Simple-ish, but it is a four-digit dividend here, so we're going to go 1,012. I'm not going to put the comma there, just because I don't want to think that's a one for any strange way. So it's typically not good to put a comma in your dividend when you're dividing big numbers. But we have to know our 22s. I don't know my 22s off the top of my head. So let's see if we can just list them out over here. That's going to help me. So 22 times 1, well, that's going to be easy. What we'll do is we'll just skip count by 22s. And we will do a little bit of regrouping if we need to, but sometimes we won't. Like 22 and 22 makes 44. So I'm going to do three groups of 22. That's going to be 66. There's a nice pattern forming here. But unfortunately, it will not last forever because after I get through my 88, we are going to have to regroup a little bit. You can't have a 10-10. Well, I guess you could, but that wouldn't be the correct answer. So 88 plus 2, that's going to give me 90. Then i got to get my 20 from the 22. 90 and 20 is 110. So there we go. Let me hit my 110. Now I can at least add again mentally without necessarily doing any regrouping. So 10 and 22 is 32. 22 times 7, we're going to just add another 22, so that's going to be 154. We've got 22 times 8, add another 22, that's going to be 76. And let's finish that off with 22 times 9, it's going to be 198. If we added another 22, that'd be 220, because that's 22 times 10. So now we are ready to tackle our 22 into 1012. 22 does not go into 1. 22 does not even go into 10. So we're really looking at this 22 into this 101. So I'm looking at it and it looks like it falls right in between there. It's 110 is too big for it, so that's going to be 22 times 4. That's going to be my 88. And so I'm going to have to do a little bit of subtracting, quite a bit of regrouping. So let's just make that 10. That's going to be a 9. Regroup from there. So that's going to be 3. So that's 13. I'm going to have to bring this 2 down here. 22 goes into 132. Looks like it's going to go even. That's nice. So 46. 132. I'm thinking 46. That is an answer selection. To double check, let's multiply. 22 and 46. Make sure we get up to our 1,012. So 2 times 6 is going to be 12. 2 times 4 is 8. Add that one back in as 9. Get rid of that. So we've got 2 times 6 is 12 again. And then 2 times 4 is going to be 8. Add that one is 9 again. So that is 2. And let's see. No, that's not... One, there we go. 1,012, so our answer is 